Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So I've been getting asked regarding the wind turbines, how I've been building them by having them on a slant instead of upright. So before I get into that, I just want to say in the week 92 experimental right now, the devs have reduced the closeness to down to two meters that you can have the wind turbines. So for example, let's just go ahead and I'll show you how to do it, how I've been doing it. So when you come to a post like this, for example, it'll say too steep and it'll be red. Now you'll see like a little a button circle at the base of the wind turbine at the bottom. So the southern end of the wind turbine. So what you want to do is hold left click and rotate the round the wind turbine. As you can see that button there on the right hand side that's protruding from the wind turbine. You want that facing north. What you want to do now is left click again and it'll snap like so. And it'll start powering itself up like so. As you can see now the radius around the wind turbine is rather small. Conveniently for this video, we've got a block of three spaced out here with another cement post. So what you can do now is go ahead and either place it identically like the other one, like that. There we go. This is pretty much the optimal spacing between the two. So say three squares and you're good to go. And now you'll be able to do that. But if you want them even closer together to really maximize the space, what you can do is go ahead and actually snap the other wind turbine to the opposite side of the other one. So let's just go ahead and do that and rotate it and then snap that like that. And now, as long as nothing's in this sphere of influence, the wind turbine, like say for a tree trunk or another object, you're good to go. That is how I've been doing it. And obviously every three blocks you can go ahead and put down a new post and go ahead and add another two wind turbines. Anyways, hope you found this helpful. Like I say, a lot of people have been asking me because I've seen it on my open world save. Let me know down in the comments if you found it helpful. It is a nice little space saver. It's nothing mind blown, but it does the trick. As always, if you found it helpful, leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. It's absolutely free to do those two things and it really does help the channel.